It's a sketch comedy podcast show. Come in. Hi, Jane. How are you this afternoon? Hi, doctor. I'm okay. Thanks. Good, good. Now, uh, it says here in your chart, you're noticing some differences in your body. Yeah, um, I'm a little concerned. I, I don't know if you want to hear about all of it, but... Well, well, I mean, not really, but it's what you pay me for. <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway, of course I, I, Of course, um, I want to hear what what's ailing you what's uh, what's the problem okay well um for the last few months i've uh i've not had any bloody stool or diarrhea um or um or a headache or rectal itching nor have i felt more of an urge to gamble or commit suicide oh interesting Um, okay so i'm just a little concerned (laughs) Okay, so in the last three months, you've, you have, I'm sorry, I'm confused. You have or have not been experiencing bloody stools? I've not. I've had solid, healthy bowel movements. Okay, and the headaches? No, no headaches. I've been feeling great. I'm a little, I'm a little bummed out, but, um, otherwise, physically, I feel the best I've felt in years, and I'm just very confused and concerned. Okay, well, uh, let's see if we can we can figure this out. Is, are you on any medication? No, um, I was taking an antidepressant for uh, a handful of years. Um, and then I, I just, I went to this yoga retreat and I was like, you know, I gotta, I need to take care of me and I can't rely on this crutch of medicine. And, and so I stopped taking it. So no, I'm not currently on any medication. Uh, about when did you stop taking that medication? I'd say like three months ago. I think I have an idea of what the issue is then. Oh, what a relief. (laughs) Yeah, it sounds like when you stop taking the medication you were on, Mm -hmm. the antidepressant, your body started healing itself. But the problem with that is that you would become so accustomed to that terrible health that you associate that with positive mental well-being. The oh issue is, is that you need to have the bloody stools, the headaches, and the rectal itching in order to feel like you're happy. Oh. Oh, my gosh. I, I feel so silly having come in. That makes so much sense, of course. Now, I don't know if you know this or not, but I'm actually a holistic naturopathic doctor. Oh, no, I, I didn't. But yeah. I, I'm glad to hear that. Like I said, I, I'm Well, I've decided to become beds. one because... There's more money in it. Oh. What we tend to do is we tend to want to have a a more natural uh, transition. Like we we want the body to heal itself. Yes, and that's what I want. So I'm going to write out a prescription for you. Oh, okay. okay. And uh, here's here's what the prescription is going to entail. Okay. In the morning, I would like you to drink a new type of smoothie. Okay. In the smoothie, I would like you to put uh, three ghost peppers, two or three uh, large pieces of glass, and a papaya with okay. some paprika okay. into a blender, mix, and then I would like you to drink that at least once a day. Okay. For lunch, you are free to go to Taco Bell or Chipotle as much as you'd like. Eat as much of that as you possibly can intake. Okay, and... And that'll that'll help with my symptoms. Mm-hmm. And then um, for dinner, whatever you would like to do for dinner, you can eat whatever you'd like. What I'd like you to do is add a teaspoon or half a teaspoon. We'll start with half a teaspoon and move up as needed of, uh, of rat poison. Okay. And what I feel this will do, get you back on the cycle of blood in your excrement. Okay, uh, great. Your head will feel terrible. Okay. And the itching in your rectum will come back. You might even develop hives, which might actually have an even more positive effect on your mood. Wonderful. But we'll get you back up and running and and happy in no time. Thank you so much, doctor.